hello guys today we'll be testing a magnetic wallet generator or so as we call it so you can see i brought a capacitor here to bigger one but this is 100 volts so i'll be going for a lower capacitor like 60 volts so here you can see a dc motor called the generator we are doing here will be made for battery charging Will be charging your battery and this emitter here you'll be reading the voltages in dc and this will be in ec so let's go on and test it let me connect it first negative or negative and positive or positive you can see you can hear it look at it here you can see now let's test it meter here positive parts negative look at the meter here it's reading 21 volts dc because i the battery although the battery is low so i reduce the to reduce the rpm but you can see here it's producing ac i put it in ac look at it producing 24 volts ac you can see 24 volts ac then now let's put it back in dc because of the diode and flowing through the diode we got only 21 volts dc okay now we'll be connecting it we connecting it to this capacitor so let's see what this capacitor is going to do i'm going to use it to rule this motor let's see the difference so right now let's connect it now connect it now let's see first without the capacitor and see how many volts will be left now let's show the motor sorry Oh, you can see, you can see, look at the motor. You can see, it's only the motor, the very high RPM. I'll do it again. Now we'll put the meter and see how many volts it's producing. Right now, we can get 21 to 21 volt DC, and right here, okay. Now we are going to connect it now to this capacitor here. Let's see the improvement it's going to produce. So I'll be connecting. The negative terminal the negative here you can see that they see a little power in the capacitor let's drain it all and see it's empty now so now negative to the negative and the positive and now it's taken to the positive now i'm not going to see how many votes it's going to produce now now let's see you can see the meter here just in case now let's test how many votes it's going to produce now You can see it's producing giving us 32 volts but it's producing 24 volts ac with diode 21 volts now with the capacitor we're not getting 32 volts you can see again you can test this spark gap just like putting something like this watch Let me put it so you can see it watch you can see 
can see there's a lot of power inside so without further ado let's see the voltage is still producing you can see get the 32 volts Thirty two volts can see it here in the meter. Now let's test the motor and see how, how it runs. You can see how powerful it is now. Can you see that? Can you see that? Now I'll take it down to connect. Now let's connect it again. Let's test it now. You can see how the the capacitor did on it. Can you see? Can you see it? Can you see it? So, oh yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look at how fast it is. See if we're going to throw the thing in. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Can you see? So you can see how powerful this thing can get. Just with this thing. This little small thing here. Pulling this device here. And you can see we also have more to do. My next video, I will be creating a 250 to 220 volts with this machine also. Very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. It has a very, very powerful magnet. Okay, tell me for your what. What is wrong with this guy? Oh, I tighten it. So, let's see it in the other one here. So we are going to see what is in it. See how powerful this magnet is. Now, yeah. watch. See this thing fitting between here. So, drain motion produces electricity. So this one here, I'll be using it to create another one. And the other one will be very, very powerful in the sense that we'll be using it on full AC, not DC this time, because this one I created here is made for battery charging, as you can see. Now let's see, let's test it again. It's one of the capacitor wires out, but I don't care. You can see how powerful and the amount of power this thing can pull out. Oh my god. Holy shit. I think. And it's connected it to right. Let's see. Okay, I did a mistake. Let me tighten it. Okay, yes, there was a bridge in between it in the capacitor area. So you can see it now. Oh, come on. How fast this thing gets. I can even throw it away, you can see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is a full view of how it looks. Can you see? So rewind another motor.